Hey gang, it's your boy Platt, back with another Spirit Series Value Spirit video. Uh, real quick, this uh, the particular spirit we have today is Proper 12 Irish Whiskey. This spirit was suggested by Chris Rooker. Chris, this video is for you, brother. Now, I'm sure most of you out there know uh, Proper 12 was started by Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor is the UFC fighter, former featherweight and lightweight champion of the world. Uh, recently, the, the UFC career hasn't gone as strong as uh, it was, but you folks might remember a while back he boxed Floyd Mayweather and made a cool $100 million. Now, he did something I think that we all find very reasonable. If you had $100 million, what would you do with it? Well, I know me, I'd start a whiskey company, which is what he did with Proper 12. I uh, found the company in September of 2018. Originally, it was just distributed in Ireland and here in the U.S. Uh, eventually, they did add UK, Australia, New Zealand, Russia, and Canada, and I believe they've now gotten a few more countries. Uh, initial sales were strong, and uh, it appears the brand is gaining some traction. I got a feeling this is not a flash in the pan brand. I just I get that vibe. From I gather the sales and the response and kind of the niche uh, they found with the brand. I got a feeling this this brand might be around for a while. Um, this uh, product is produced at the old Bushmill Distillery, so uh, you you know uh, <laughs> you know the folks that are producing this know what they're doing. Been around a while. Uh, one of the uh, the uh, name Proper Twelve came from his old neighborhood. Apparently, the neighborhood where he grew up in was referred to as Dublin 12. So, Proper 12, you know, is, is the name of the whiskey, which is kind of cool. Again, an homage to, to where he grew up. Uh, but I do like the fact that he didn't call it Conor McGregor whiskey. There's, there's too, too much of that uh, with some of these celebrity brands. Uh, one of the advantages that celebrities have when they start these spirit companies or beer brands, wine, whatever, is they have the resources to hire the proper people to, to start this, uh, you know, hire experience. And that's what Connor did. Uh, he hired the former uh, distillery manager at Bush Mills, a gentleman named Dave Elder, to get this project off the ground. Now, one of the things I've read and I've heard from other, several sources that Connor was highly involved in the process. Uh, apparently, him and Dave went through about 100 blends before they finally picked what goes in the bottle now. Uh, I think that's real cool. Um, bartending out here in Vegas, I've seen a million celebrity spirits, all with varying forms of um, interest from the celebrity involvement, marketing, how long it stuck around, this, that, and the other. A lot of the times, it's their business manager, somebody gets to one of their handlers, kind of talks them into something. They put a little effort and money into it, do some marketing appearances, and that's about it. Now, I remember when Clooney got his tequila, they had all these photo shoots and stuff of him and his partner, a little moped going through the agave fields, you know, the pictures of him with the locals and, you know, just enjoying the spirit of Mexico, what, what have you. Um, again, I'm not sure about Clooney's involvement more than just from a marketing standpoint. But again, these celebrities, you know, have varying forms of involvement. From what I gather, though, Connor was, again, very involved in the process. I think those of you that have followed Connor's career, you know, know him a little bit from his UFC days, can tell, A, he likes to drink whiskey, and B, that he's just, he's passionate about all things Irish. So it, it does kind of make sense that he's really into this uh, particular project. Um, one of the cool things about Proper 12 that I learned in doing research is that for every case sold, $5 goes to charities that involve first responders, whether for them, their families, what have you. So very cool and props to Connor for doing that. That's really neat. Uh, as far as reviews on this whiskey, uh, distiller.com has 3.3 stars out of five. I've seen online some mixed reviews and I kind of understand it. Um, if you go to these whiskey websites, whiskey blogs, you know, uh, where, where uh, the whiskey snobs go, I can see why they don't appreciate this whiskey. Um, 
This is an Irish whiskey, and for those of you that may or may not know, Irish whiskeys are triple distilled. They tend to be softer whiskeys, a um, little less complex. Uh, you know, pot distilled Irish whiskeys like Red Breast, those, those are a little different animals. But I'm talking about the, the Jameson, Bushmill, Michael Collins style Irish whiskey. That's a, just a softer whiskey. That's just stylistically what it is. And these whiskey bloggers that may, you know, review Lagavulin or Lafroy, you know, the real peaty scotches or maybe a high ABV bourbon like a Booker's Warmer, this is going to come off soft on the palate. Totally understand it. It's going to come off as not, not, not quite sophisticated. But again, stylistically, Irish whiskey, you know, is not going to have that kind of body and, and uh, you know, flavor profile anyway. And if we think about it, especially something like Jameson, which I got a feeling if Connor was here, right here, he would tell, say that's his main competition is, is Jameson. Think about how Jameson's is consumed. Generally with ginger ale, some kind of mixers, no one's really drinking Jameson from a snifter per se. So again, it's just not a, I think this is more about the style and not proper 12's execution of said style. So that's just my opinion on that. Let's actually give it a try. Got a nice little nose. Not too hot. Right, let's give it a try. Man, that's nice. It, you may or may not be able to tell uh, in the camera, shade darker than uh, Jameson's. Uh, one of the things they talk about online, just some of the reviews is, this spins, uh, this is aged in bourbon barrels really picks up that bourbon. The first time I tried this, I remember immediately thinking, well, wait a minute, I need to hit a bourbon on that. And as a bourbon fan, I, I kind of like that. Uh, to me, again, if we're comparing this to big scotches and peated whiskeys and stuff like that, again, this is not that complex, it's softer, what have you. I, I just feel stylistically, though, or the way they execute, to me, though, it has more complexity than Jameson's. Um, a little, just a shade extra viscosity, just a little more of that honey, vanilla, a lot more, to me, more vanilla than, uh, Jameson's, um, yeah, to me, to me, this is just, you know, a nice, simple whiskey, and remember, in, I talk about this in this Value Spirit series, I'm not trying to compare this to McCallum 1969 or whatever, don't get me wrong. But this is under $30 a bottle. This is like $24.99 when I pay for it. $25 and under. A solid whiskey. And that's what that's what you want to compare in value spirits. We don't, don't again, let's not get this confused with, you know, Louis the Thirteenth or Hardy Prof you know, these outrageous spirits. For the dollar, this is just a nice, well executed whiskey. Um, I can actually drink it neat. Because, again, it has that hint of bourbon. I like bourbon. But I damn sure will definitely throw this in with some mixers. You know, again, obviously ginger ale, uh, any kind of cola, um, you know, Sprite. Um, I would actually probably even make something like, I don't know if I'd use this for an old-fashioned. I'd want something a little bolder for an old-fashioned. But maybe a Manhattan? Or, or maybe, you know, whiskey sours? You know, I think this would go decent in because, again, you're uh, something like a whiskey sour. You're not wanting to get too high in with the whiskey of choice, or I, I wouldn't. Um, again, I just think this is a nice, solid, well-executed whiskey, which is, uh, and again, for the price is what we're looking for. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe down below. Also, please like the video because it lets YouTube know we're putting out good content. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them in the comment section. Or you can always contact me on the Twitter page. Till next time, bottoms up.